Ladies and gentlemen, today I will attempt to discuss the pros and cons of plastic versus metal wheel sets for model trains, and I will attempt to do so using the scientific method. As you can see, I have been hard at work on this already. And when I am finished, perhaps Sparky107107 would like this wig. <laughs> Hello, Model Railroaders, Brian Page here. Enough horsing around, I have something serious to talk about. And uh, today's topic is plastic versus metal wheel sets. And I have examples of both, if you can see them. Uh, probably not, they're so darn tiny. But uh, this is the metal wheel sets, and this is some um, Microtrain's plastic wheel sets. And... Um, this, woo -wee. it's going to be a hot topic, I'm sure. Uh, pe some people won't like what I say. Some people will. Uh, some people don't care. So let's get on with it. One more thing before I get started. Uh, I got the idea for this from my friend Alan at RDA and Scale. I will put a link to his channel down below. Um, he put out a video this past week about some new freight cars he got and uh, did a little discussing about uh, plastic wheels and metal wheels. Um, it generated some comments and I looked at that and I thought, hmm, I'd like to expand on that issue a little bit and just give you my own perspective. Now bear in mind that uh, everything I talk about in this video is based on, on end scale. So some of uh, the things that I talk about may not apply to larger scales. I, I really don't know. Um, I only have N scale to deal with. And uh, it just so happens, I'll say up front, that I have mainly plastic wheels on my freight cars. The reason for that is because I went through and changed out uh, old Rapido couplers and put in all Microtrain's trucks and plastic wheel sets. So uh, if there are other manufacturers out there that, that make uh, small you know, uh, couplers for N scale, I, you know, maybe some of those work better, maybe not so good. I don't know. Uh, but I am simply going to be talking about metal wheel sets versus plastic wheel sets. All right. I'm going to have to ask you to pardon my crappy uh, camera work here, but one of the myths that I've heard is that plastic wheels going around a track will pick up every piece of dirt and grime and oil and whatnot um, that exists on a layout or on the track and metal wheels won't. Well, I'm sorry folks, but that just ain't true. Um, metal wheels will pick up. In fact, anything that runs on the track is going to pick up stuff off the track. And here is the proof. These are all metal wheel sets and to some degree or another, they have all picked up dirt and grime off the track. And some, like I say, are worse than others. This one right here, <clears throat> excuse me, is a perfect example. Um, that is actual lines of caked on dirt. And, <laughs> you know, what can I say? They're metal wheels. Okay, they pick it up. Um, now, do metal wheels continue to run better, even if they get dirty like this? Uh, there's another one that has caked on grime. Uh, that I can't really answer. Uh, maybe. But again, the truth of the matter is, is that any wheel that comes in contact with track is going to pick up garbage. And, uh... The plastic wheels, I, you know, maybe they have more trouble after they pick up dirt. I don't know. 
but as you can see these are all metal wheels and they all have cake on them okay so another thing that i've heard people say is that if you have a metal wheel set as opposed to a plastic wheel set the metal wheel sets will help you add weight to the bottom of a freight car or a locomotive or whatever um, of course locomotives have metal wheels anyway don't they but any anywho um folks i'm going to tell you something straight up unless you have found someone who produces tungsten steel wheel sets there's not going to be a whole lot of weight difference here now maybe an ho in the larger scales yes that would make a big difference but an n scale which is what i have you're not going to see a lot of weight difference here um now another thing that i've heard while we're on that subject is that the metal wheels tend to work better on the track don't jump off as much um, work better through turnouts now that i may have to agree with um, the flanges on the metal wheel set appear to be a little bit bigger around they have a little bit larger diameter as opposed to the hub of the wheel than the plastic wheel sets do i don't know if you can see the difference but there is a substantial flange difference there now keep in mind this metal wheel set is quite old uh, the newer ones maybe they make them a little bit differently now um, but i have recently ripped up all my track and put in all kato track and these plastic wheel sets run just fine through everything um, so I don't, uh, depending on your track, I mean, depending on how the track was laid, uh, depending on many factors, uh, yeah, maybe the metal wheel sets will stick to the track a little better. Uh, but as far as the weight difference goes, I'm sorry, I'm not putting a lot of stock in that. I, it, uh, you'd be better off putting weight in the bottom of the freight car instead of worrying about the weight of the wheels. Uh, you know, it's just kind of common sense. Now, to be fair, a point in the favor of the metal wheel sets is, obviously, if you have cars, uh, freight cars or whatever type of car, passenger uh, cars, that require um, lights or maybe you have sound devices in them or what have you, Obviously, you're going to need metal wheel sets. Um, you're going to have to conduct electricity into those cars. And that's something that you might have a little trouble with with plastic wheels. So, uh, yeah, in that case, you're kind of forced into metal wheels. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, another thing that I've heard um, is people say that the metal wheel sets... They like the sound of the of, of the metal wheels on the track. You get uh, that kind of clickety clack uh, sound from the metal wheels. If that is what you're after, then yes, I totally 100% agree. Uh, the the metal wheels do that much better than plastic wheels. Plastic wheels are pretty much silent. Uh, I don't hear any wheel noise from the plastic wheel sets at all. I only hear noises that the cars make as they shift around on the track. So um, that one I will give to the metal wheels. Absolutely. Um, if you would like that more realistic sound, um, metal wheels is the way to go. Okay, another thing that I've heard, and this is mostly in regards to plastic wheels, is that with plastic wheels you don't have to worry as much about wiring on the layout and and the the track feeds and everything uh reversing loops things like that um now that won't help when you're talking about locomotives but with the cars you wouldn't have any chance of shorting anything out with a plastic wheel set right However, I'm going to divide this one up 50-50 and say I don't think that matters because if you laid out your 
railroad correctly and you were careful with your wiring and you tested everything as you went along, then that should not be an issue, right? So, yeah, that one, not so big of a deal, I think. Now, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of this video, uh, but um, I just happen to have uh, a lot of my freight cars are 40-year-old wonders that had Rapido couplers, and uh, they were almost all Bachman and Atlas freight cars. And they came with these Rapido couplers and the metal wheel sets. Now, what I did was I went on a campaign a while back to change out all the couplers to Microtrains couplers for N scale. And as it turned out, I ended up getting a lot of trucks. That, they are Bettendorf trucks with the plastic wheel sets. That's the way they come. I could have ordered metal wheels to put in these, but I found out something very interesting uh, when I put these in. And the reason I say I have a lot of the, the plastic wheel sets now is because I don't feel the need to change them out. Um, and I would like to take you to the layout and show you a practical demonstration of why that is. All right, here we are at the layout. And for my little experiment that I wanted to show you, what I have here is two identical Southern Pacific boxcars. Now, this one has metal wheel sets. The old Rapido trucks with the metal wheel sets. Okay? The other one has microtrains trucks with uh, the plastic wheel sets. Uh, can you see that okay? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the one with the plastic wheels on the inside track here. And I will take the one with the metal wheels and I will set that up on the outer track. All right. Now, here's the fun part of the experiment. I'm going to take a stick, a skewer, and I'm going to put that behind these two cars. And I'm going to give them a little nudge. Now, watch what happens. So, here we have the plastic wheels went way out in front. Now, just to be fair with the experiment here, I'm going to take the plastic wheels, put that on the outside track, if I can get it on, there we go, I'm going to take the metal wheels, put them on the inside track this time. And... The reason I'm doing that is because I have a turnout here and, you know, I want everything to be fair. So, let's take the stick again and give them a shove. I think you get my point here. The metal wheels just don't roll as well. Um... And I, I don't have proof of this, but I'm going to tell you that I have tried putting graphite on the axles of these wheels. Um, I have tried ballastol, uh, which is a good oil for guns, uh, very slippery. Um, I've tried putting everything I can think of on these wheels, and that's as far as I can push one of them. The plastic wheels are nearly frictionless. Of course there is friction, but uh, they just are smooth as silk. And that is the reason that I mentioned I don't feel the need to swap them out. Uh, to me, from a mechanical engineering standpoint, uh, what that tells me is, is that the cars roll better 
whether they're going up a grade, down a grade, or flat, uh, my layout is all flat, um, that puts less stress on my locomotives. Um, and I can pull more cars. Not that I need to on a small layout like this, but um, yeah, I... I, I, I'm not doing this little experiment to say that plastic wheels are better. What I'm saying is, is that I don't have a compelling reason to go out and spend money for metal wheel sets. The plastic wheels are working just fine for me. So here we are at the end, the part you've all been waiting for. Which will he say is better, plastic wheel sets or metal wheel sets? Drum roll, please. And my answer is neither. Neither. Like I said before, I didn't make this video to call out one over the other. Okay? The purpose of this video is go with your preference. I think, if nothing else, I've shown in this video that both have advantages and disadvantages. And I, it just depends on what you want. And since everybody has their own model railroad layout you do what you want to do and um yeah that's about it i i know there's going to be some hot comments on this whole thing but um that's how i feel about it uh you know i like i said for me i don't have a reason to go out and spend money to buy metal wheel sets, I don't need them. Uh, everything is working just fine with the plastic wheels. And by the way, I have both. I, I do have cars, uh, freight cars with metal wheels. So yeah, it, it just uh, depends on what you're looking for. I, I think one thing that I neglected to mention during this whole thing is that uh, I think if you're gonna weather the cars and you're gonna make the wheels look rusty and such, might be a little easier to do that with the uh, metal wheels. Not too sure. It's kind of hard to get to the plastic wheels. Uh, they're, they're so tiny and they're, they're jet black. And uh, it might be a little tougher to weather those the way you want them. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, go with what you like. All right. So feel free to leave me comments. <laughs> and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you at the next stop.